A new study by Rutgers researchers is shedding light on autism spectrum disorder. It finds the number of children being diagnosed in parts of New Jersey is rising sharply, but contrary to previous findings, the highest increase is now being seen in kids without intellectual disabilities. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan has the latest. It can be very rewarding, but it can also be, you know, very frustrating. Sue Oberman's a special ed teacher who says the report showing autism rates surging fivefold in New Jersey only tells half the story. Teachers, she notes, often struggle when so many students need individual help, even to make friends. And it's not just knowing your academics, it's making sure that as a whole, you want those kids included. And so you take that extra time when you should be lesson planning, for example, to try to encourage kids to um, be kind and be inclusive. The impact's measurable. The new study shows autism rates in New Jersey eight-year-olds spiked 500 percent from the year 2000 to 2016 when researchers drilled down in four New Jersey counties, Union, Essex, Hudson, and Ocean. About one-third of the kids with autism also had intellectual disabilities. But, and here's the surprise, the rest didn't. Two out of three could do the schoolwork, but suffered behavioral problems. As the study's author explained, it's a triage situation. It looks like in underserved regions, there are um, a group of children that are not getting services. They're likely to have autism, but because they're doing maybe well academically, um, and maybe they have, they're seen as having behavior issues, they're not getting services at the school level. There is better identification of children with more challenges. That's because those are the ones that are coming to attention faster. The study also showed black children with autism but no intellectual disabilities were 30 percent less likely to get diagnosed. Meanwhile, kids from wealthier areas were 80 percent more likely to be identified. Suzanne Buchanan with Autism New Jersey explains. Sometimes diagnostic wait lists can be as long as six to 24 months. This was exacerbated by the pandemic. And so a lot of times families in poor communities do not have access to those medical specialists to get those evaluations done. A lot of times parents are looking to the school to be their um, expert when their child is diagnosed or when certain behaviors are being seen in school. And I think the school is often in a very difficult place because they also have a budget they also have other students. Rebecca Malinsky transferred her 11-year-old daughter Molly to the private Duran School, which specializes in classes for kids with autism. Staff's highly trained to deal with intellectual disabilities and behavioral issues. A sensory room's available to help overwhelmed kids cope. Basic tuition here runs $70,000 a year. School districts do refer and pay for many students who need intense support. We have students here from about eight counties and about 40 different school districts send their students to us when they can't support those students. Duran's got a waiting list and with the number of kids with autism rising, how can services be improved to keep pace? Because treatment's more effective when it started earlier, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends all kids should be screened for autism at 18 and 24 months, but. From my research, I know that this is not happening consistently. Children are not screened consistently for autism at those ages. Even into adolescence, sometimes we see kids who are misdiagnosed or not diagnosed, but yet they're still struggling socially and academically without any answers. Experts suggest asking pediatricians to help screen and diagnose kids with autism earlier and get treatment started sooner before children begin school and problems multiply. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.